all right so what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today i want to do this long awaited video about like where the fuck have i been like a lot of people have been wondering like bitch have y'all where the fuck have you been and i've been basically going for a couple reasons and, you know the main one is just me being lazy or whatever but when am i not lazy so yeah like i've been getting a couple questions since i'm gone and i'm gonna answer in the video these couple of questions because you guys just deserve to know like the two questions that you guys want to know the first thing i want to talk about is Colombia. the last thing i was talking about before i left was Colombia. like bitch i'm going to Colombia. and yeah, my bad time da, da, da. so what i did i went to Colombia and boom i went and got my bad time so let me just talk about that experience so i vlogged it and all but let me talk about why i never uploaded the vlog and the this of me going to Colombia, I was like, at that time, if you follow me on Instagram, I was really like always sad about this one fucking boy. Like, I was always sad about this boy. And then basically throughout the whole video, I was just talking about this boy. And it was just like, when I got back, I was just like, why am I, why did I make this whole video? Like I was rewatching it, it's just like this whole video was about this boy. And I'm just like, there's really no need for all of that. Like, I really, it's just like, well, it's like, why am I here feeling over a nigga who obviously just don't give a fuck about me? Like, if he did, like, I wouldn't really be in here doing all this mess. Like, like I had to learn, like, liking somebody is just not enough. Like, if they're not willing to put the work and effort into actually having you, they don't deserve to have you around, they deserve to have you in their presence. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I was just, I don't know, like, I just really like this boy a lot. And y'all know me, like, if y'all didn't know, I'm a tourist, my birthday was May 8th or whatever. With a tourist, you know, we could fall for somebody in like two motherfucking days. But then it would take us about two fucking years to get over this person and it's just like why do we do that to ourselves like i don't know why like i fall for the niggas dumb hard like for example like all the niggas who want me around like that will try to spoil me or whatever those niggas i really never always give a fuck about it's always the niggas that like don't do shit don't give a fuck about me just give good D word and then I guess I just needed my time to get over him. I, I handled the situation very wrong. Like I felt like I should have got off of social media altogether and so like I was not sad over him anymore. Like I came to the realization like things are it just is what it is and you just can't force situations and things don't go your way. It's just like oh motherfucking wow. Another reason why I didn't post that vlog was is because like I'd never actually vlogs me getting it done like i i didn't know why in my head i was thinking yeah i'm gonna actually vlog me getting it done i vlogged right before and i vlogged right after i got it done but i didn't actually vlog the process like you know what i mean like i just was too afraid to record actually me getting it done like i didn't know if my doctor would have been okay with that like i just didn't want to go through the hassle another thing is like i didn't fully get the results that i wanted like in my head i thought like i was gonna go get my bed done and then boom i was gonna be fab afterwards and i mean i am fab and my butt is fab but it's just not all of what i expected if that makes sense like my butt is big it's nice or whatever i get compliments on it but it's just not everything like in my mind like i thought i was about to come out this chair looking like bernice burgos but I actually motherfucking look like Tiana Taylor. I don't know, like my butt is just not as big as I wanted it. It's not even my butt, it's definitely my hips. Like I definitely wanted my hips bigger. But then after doing this whole process, I spoke to a bunch of girls who got the same shots done or whatever. And they just said, yeah, like bitch, you need to go like five times. Like I know one girl who went like eight times to get the results that she has. And it's just like, damn like i didn't know that like i didn't do my research fully i guess i'm gonna go back and also my doctor told me that she wasn't able to inject as much as she wanted to inject into me because like my skin was very tight it wasn't stretching i was very skinny before like you guys know i was very skinny like i was 95 pounds most of my life and i didn't start gaining weight until i got on hit so i was also very skinny i guess and it just like i guess my skin was just not with the shits like it wasn't stretching so she put a tissue expander in me and then she put the hydrogel and basically she said when the hydrogel settles in and the tissue expander just expands my tissues we could go up for round two and i could get more injected i guess so boom that's what i got done 
And um, I'm gonna show you guys my budget to just, just show you guys. Yeah, you guys can tell me what you think. It's like a cute little bag. It's just, I just honestly just wish I had hips and I would be cute. Like I'm not even out here trying to be like the biggest, like most curviest bitch. I just want hips, like the vibe. But yeah, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get up and show you. So boom, this is my vibe. It's like cute over there, but like, like, you know, it still moves or whatever. Like, a lot of people ask me. I get a lot of questions asked about my butt. And a lot of people ask me questions like, oh, does it still move? Like, is it hard? What does it feel like? Da-da-da. Um, I'll do a whole video separated on that. If you guys want to ask me specific questions you want to guys that you want to know about my butt, leave them in this video. And I will just refer back to this video when I make that video about my butt. But if y'all want to update on Drake, Drake is dead. Like, he dead, deceased, fuck him, I don't care about him anymore, like, literally, he's dead, fuck him, like, <laughs> also, I've been getting a lot of questions asking me about certain people in my, that used to be in my life, like, oh, like, are you friends with these people still, like, are you still friends with these people, and the answer is, if you have to ask that question, is obviously, no, I'm not friends with these people anymore, I used to, like, spread myself out for people's so much like i used to spread myself so thin for people and i started to realize that none of these people would do the same thing for me in return like i was stressing myself out trying to help everybody and try to be there for everybody but then i noticed that these same people would not do the same shit for me and then i just started to notice like i can't have these people around so i started to move differently i started i stopped making myself unavailable to these people and stop basically being a yes man and just do things when it was like convenient for me like how basically treating them how they were treating me right and i noticed that they did not like it they didn't like it i became a bad friend i started moving funny so it was just like i ended up just cutting these people off or whatever and life has just gotten so much better like the issue occurred when i needed something or if i needed just somebody to talk to because i never needed nobody for nothing bitch like money's never an issue but if i needed like advice from somebody i couldn't do that like they was never there like they were just always unavailable i just got tired of it and then when i stopped doing it like when i just started just treating how them how i was treated they just like they wasn't with the shits. Like, everybody just, like, everybody was mad at me all of a sudden. But it was just like, bitch, I'm just treating you like how you've been treating me for the past couple years. We've been friends or whatever. So it's just like, I don't know. I wish them the best, but it's just like, fuck them. I really don't care. Like, life has been so much better. I don't hold any animosity, even though my fucking camera lens is still fucking broken. Besides, but besides that, it's just like, fuck them. So moving on, I'm going to start doing more hair videos. Because that's just like my, for the longest time I didn't want to do hair videos because in my mindset it's just like, bitch, why would I do hair videos and I pay people, and people pay me to get their hair done and people pay me like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get their hair done and it's just like, why the fuck would I make a video and have the information out there for free? But I feel like I started YouTube doing hair and that's my roots and that's my passion. There's so much money to be made in the world that like me posting a video is never gonna stop my money. And I just realized that it's not because it's always gonna be somebody who can't do that shit like how I do it. And that's what they're paying me to do, to do it like how I do it. So I'm gonna start posting more hair videos. I know you guys wanna see the front two videos and the coloring videos. Cause I've been wearing blonde hair lately and like everybody been loving blonde hair. I mean, I've been loving blonde hair. I mean, so much. I have some blonde hair coming to me. I want to do a video on how I color it and style it and put it on. That's because I want to just get back into my roots. My roots is hair and I feel like I wouldn't be going through so many breaks and so many mental roadblocks if I just stick to what I know and which is hair. And that's my passion. That's what I love doing. So that's about it for this little video. Like I just wanted to update you guys on life and what I'm doing to so just show my face and be like, yo, bitch, I am not going from YouTube. Like, bitch, I am out here living life. And doing stuff like i don't know like getting my shit together like i just need the time to like be sad like i never give myself time to be sad and then boom i end up being sad for a long period of time like i just need to start expressing my emotions and then i wouldn't be going from youtube such a long period of time like i just feel like i've been such in a deep depression between losing friends because that does hurt even though like I, I feel like life is better without them i feel like it does hurt when you lose a friend not a friend but a couple of friends and then 
also this whole boy situation it's just like i felt like i was just losing so much at one time and it was just like it was just really hitting me like it was taking a really deep toll on me if you want any videos in particular like to me a do this video leave that comment down below and also before i go i wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who's been there and who's been supporting me for the longest time you guys really do not know what it means to me to have your support like honestly like bitch i go for such a long period of time like the fact that people actually cared enough to even check up on me and be like bitch when's the next time you post in a video like bitch it's been two months it's been two months and three days like people actually like i don't know like the fact that people are actually out here checking for me it just makes me feel so much better about myself because a lot of people don't have that and i'm so thankful to have you guys and i'm not gonna i'm not taking you guys for granted you know what i mean so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys give it a thumbs up <laughs> y'all can follow me on instagram it'll be linked down below yeah i'm gonna check you guys out in my next video i'm gonna talk to you guys later bye you guys